All right, so now let's continue further and now look at question 20. And uh, this one asks, if the limit as n approaches infinity of a n equals to 2, then the limit as n approaches infinity of a n plus 3 uh, minus a n, let's put this neater, yeah, minus a n equals to 0. And uh, this is in fact true, actually, because if you look at if this limit as goes to 2, then it doesn't matter what this n plus 3 is, it's also going to infinity. So it's going to be uh, true. This can be also 2, and then you subtract the limits equals to 0. All right? All right, so let's take a look, look at the solution. And solution, yes, it, it is true. So let's write this out. So since, since we know that limit as, as n approaches infinity of uh, a n, like that, a n equals to 2, yeah, then what we have is, well, the limit as n approaches infinity of uh, a n plus 3 is also going to 2. So in other words, in, the, in this part, we have a n uh, is going towards a infinity. And in this one, we have a n plus 3 is going towards, well, infinity plus 3. Infinity plus 3 is just <laughs> infinity. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Yeah, so it's just, it's still infinity, it's just insignificant. So this goes to uh, infinity plus three, it's, in other words, it's going to a, a infinity. So these are the same stuff here, over here, so same thing. Same thing. All right, so thus what we have is, let's move the center, uh, thus, we have limit, as n approaches infinity of a n plus 3 minus a n is going to be, yeah, this uh, right here, this just equals to, uh, by our limit rules, the limit of both. You could write these together. Limit as n approaches infinity of a n plus 3 uh, minus, minus, write this one more time, neater, a n plus 3. Yeah, minus a, oh uh, yeah, minus the limit as n approaches infinity of a n. And these both equal to, well, 2. So 2 minus 2 equals to 0, like that. And just move it over here and check mark. 